I'm Rochelle Richards with the Las Vegas Review Journal. Here's your news update for your Tuesday morning. MGM Resorts International filed federal lawsuits on Friday, claiming they cannot be held liable for deaths, injuries, or other damages related to the October 1st shooting. The company cites a 2002 federal act that extends liability protection to a company that uses, quote, anti-terrorism technology or services that can, quote, help prevent or respond to mass violence. Since the security company MGM hired for the Route 91 Harvest Festival was protected, the lawsuit argues that the protection extends to MGM resorts. Body cam footage was released by Las Vegas police on Monday, showing an officer pursuit near downtown Las Vegas. The footage from Wednesday morning shows officers weaving through traffic and exchanging gunfire with men inside a black SUV. The pursuit ended after an officer fired 11 shots through his windshield and 7 shots through his open window, and the SUV crashed into the side of an elementary school. The two men are suspects in the death of a 25-year-old who was shot multiple times in the chest at a car wash. And Golden Entertainment is buying two properties in Laughlin for as much as $190 million. Golden will acquire Edgewater and Colorado Bell from Marnell Gaming, giving Golden the dominant position in Nevada's third largest gaming market. The purchase comes 13 months after Golden Entertainment CEO Blake Sartini agreed to buy American Casino and Entertainment properties for $850 million. The transaction is expected to close in the first quarter of 2019. For all of your Las Vegas news and much more, visit ReviewJournal.com. Knights to Remember. Order this hardcover commemorative book now at knightsbook.com. You'll get 160 pages filled with historic pictures and stories from a record-breaking season. Knights to Remember. Order now at knightsbook.com.